All right, guys, if you've watched my channel at all, or followed my channel at all, you will have seen that I have a couple ice fishing and sled modification videos out. This is going to be the third one. This is going to be a little, a little light modification. I'm going to add some lights to the front of the sled. I'm going to do that utilizing the M18 Milwaukee batteries that I bring out and the drills that I bring out. Now, I have one drill in my clam plate auger attachment, and then I have one drill that I use for setting up and taking down my shanty with using the ice anchors. So that's the battery that I'm going to use is the one on the drill for the anchors. Um, I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. Also, bonus footage, I'm going to show you how to run some lights using those batteries in your shanty also. Stay tuned. Let's get busted! Well, hello there, and welcome to the research and development corner of Nailed It Builds, also known as R&D, research and development. Now, this is the R&D center, also known as the tool bench. Now, today, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be seeing if this will power this using this as a battery source. And if we are able to make such things happen, how long can we make them happen for? We've got a lot to do here at the R&D Center. Let's do it. Let's get to r and in. Well, something that I didn't realize is uh, this top-off Milwaukee charger phone tablet thing only has an output of 5 volts. Uh, I need more than that to like light up. So, uh, not to worry. I did know I can actually order something that will work for that. Um, but in the meantime, I can still do my test to even see if it's worth ordering. I want to know how long this battery... Well, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I want to know how long this battery is going to power this light so uh we're still gonna do the r d and we're still gonna research that and if it's not worth it then we're not gonna buy the thing all right so i, I might be doing a different voice here um but we are back at the r d area over here and uh, as you can see the light is still on and if my watch is anything to indicate it has been on for over 40 minutes so this battery has had youth constant use for 40 minutes minutes on a one single light and as you press this indicator button right here on the battery we are still on full bars so i think that 40 minutes of constant use full bar it will be sufficient enough to move on with the project r d complete r d out all right since this video is about adding lights to your ice fishing equipment Let's add some lights to my shanty. Now, I'm not building anything for this. This is just a product that I'm going to be using. So, uh, every time I take my shanty out with me, I bring this bag with me. Now, in this bag, I have my Milwaukee drill, and I have the attachment for the ice anchors, and I have my ice anchors. Throw it all in there, throw it in the sled. That's what I use for my shanty. So, how am I going to light it up? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the battery off of the drill that I keep in the bag. I'm going to use the top off that I bought for the sled lights that didn't work. I'm going to use that, and I bought this off Amazon, this USB light thing. So this light well, has a clip to hang up top, and obviously it's pretty bright. So I'm going to put that in the shanty, and then I can use obviously the battery that I use in there. So I did a test on this. Uh, I have my 5.0 Milwaukee battery fully charged. I ran the light for a solid half hour. And as you can see, I'm fully charged still. So half hour use, fully charged. You can, I guarantee you get at least an hour out of this thing. So maybe more. Um, so we're going to go put it in the shanty and see how it works. All right, we are in the shanty right now, and I have the light actually set up. And as you can see from 
that. It works pretty good. So all I did was I used that clip and I clipped it to the top of one of the poles up here. And then I just tucked the, the wire right here. And then I actually run it down and I stick the battery in the pouch right here. But, or you can shove the battery on a, uh, on a bucket. But as you can tell by the scene change here, shut the light off. It goes pitch black. This thing is awesome. I'll put a link to this in the description, this bulb, and I'll put a link to that uh, Milwaukee top off. So if you're running a Milwaukee battery and you're trying to figure out a way to light up your shanty, now I have the hub shanty. Um, it'll work if you want to use it on your uh, your flip over or whatever. So let's get back to putting some lights on this. All thing. right. So here's my backup plan. It's just a uh, adapter that clips on the Milwaukee battery. That's it. So I'll put a link to this in the description also so you can see this. So uh, let's go get this on the sled. Okay, so I'm going to mount the light in front of the sled right here. Um, and I'm going to do that because I will be out of the way of the fishing pole behind it. And when I'm pulling the rope, it's going to stay nice and safe. So that's how I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount the battery thing right behind it. Okay, I have everything back in the sled. I've got all the poles and everything there. As you can see, I've got the battery mounted on that adapter. Slides on and off, really nice and sturdy. And I did add a toggle switch. I may end up having to upgrade this to a metal toggle switch. I'm afraid that this rope is gonna hook it and snap it right off. I may just eliminate the switch anyway and just battery in and out. I don't know, but there it is right there. I think that's gonna be enough. We'll wait for it to get a little bit darker and we'll actually see how bright this makes it. All right, so it's not pitch black. I think you can still see me. And that's what I wanted because when you're on the ice, it's probably not going to be pitch black. So here's what we got. Okay, so I have a long rope for dragging, but as you can see, it illuminates plenty far enough that I'm at tension right now. You can see feet. It will provide any kind of safety, so I'll see exactly where I'm going. Probably should shorten the rope up, get a little closer back here. Just beautiful. All right, guys, you made it to the end of the video. Yay! Okay, thanks for staying. You want to hear a little bit more? Then let's pay attention. Um, so why put lights on the front of your sled? Um, there's a couple different reasons. And now before we go any farther, for the people who go, yeah, just run a headlamp. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. Done it for years. Perfectly great. Not going to argue with you. Because um, there's a million different ways that you could have done this. There's a million different ways that you could have hooked up a light. You could have ran the power source from your fish finder. You could have just bought a whole new separate battery. There's options here is what I'm saying. I did it this way because I had the batteries out there. And I wanted to buy the top off thing for charging phones. And I wanted to excuse for the wife to why, to why I bought one of those. Don't tell her that. But that's why I did that. But now, why do you want lights on the front of your sled? So if you're going out, you're fishing in the dark. Obviously, it illuminates what you're doing. You can see your hole. You can see your pole. Boom, boom, boom. 
that's your reasoning right there. Also, when you're setting up, it gives you the light that's there that maybe the headlamp wouldn't be as great because you have a solid fixed light. The other reason, and it's probably the most important reason why I wanted to do this, was safety. Um, you know, having that light illuminate my path out and in, uh, I'm not going to be able to see any open holes, any spearing holes, any unsafe ice, anything like that. I'll be able to see really a lot easier in and out. And um, not just for me to see, but for me also to be seen. Because if you have the steady light out there uh, um, on the middle of the lake, people will see that you're out there. And snowmobilers won't come plowing through you. And there's the possibility that someone's going to notice that your light's out there well after it should be. And you may be in a little bit of trouble. So safety is basically the reason why I did it. And also the fact that I just kind of wanted to. So uh, if you stay stuck around this long, thank you very much. I do also owe you guys the whole hopper um, video of me using it. But uh, I'm still waiting for ice. So I'm not driving to Canada for the ice yet because I'm not that desperate yet. Okay, we're there yet. I promised you guys I'd see you this time, and guess what? I promise I'll see you guys next time. See ya.